This West Side neighborhood roped off with crime tape for most of the day after children found their grandfather badly beaten. A family friend tells us the man who normally takes his grandchildren to school in the morning had been beaten with a hammer. He was found on McCargo Street North, which is near Beaver Street and Nevada Street. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell is there and she's joining us live. Elizabeth, any word? Who did this? Mary and Tom, unfortunately, police have not released any person of interest in this case, but people who know this man say they are praying that JSO is able to figure out who is responsible. Now, police just left the scene about 30 minutes ago, but they were here for more than eight hours. And the focus of today's crime scene is right behind me. This is the Brunson Inn and loved ones of this gentleman tell me that he owned a bar inside has been here for the past at least 30 years and that he spends spends the majority of his time here. They say what happened to him he did not deserve at all. I can't believe that someone would do some such thing like that to him, you know, because he never did no wrong to nobody. He's always been a good person. Lahoma Davis says she's a family friend of the man police found badly injured this morning off McCargo Street North on the west side of Jacksonville. She says he's 86 years old and believes he was at a community club right by his home when she says he was beaten with a hammer. Davis says he has two daughters and his grandchildren were the ones who found him this morning. Davis is sad, saying he's a good person and she hopes police can figure out who's responsible. I hope somebody, whoever that, that, whoever did it, and whoever that got that got hard and know that did it, that that whoever that did it, I hope that they come forth and and solve this case because it's very sad and it's upsetting for our community for this to happen. And today I've probably talked to at least 10 people who said they knew him very well, that he was a very great man. And I just spoke with somebody about five minutes ago who said that they heard that he is not doing very well in the hospital. But of course, they are all wishing for the best. If we hear anything on his condition or who's responsible for doing this, we will, of course, update you on air and on newsforjax.com. Reporting live from the West Side, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.